Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bel Fatih. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Zahana Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today the British ambassador to Bahrain, Simon Martin, at Al Wadi Palace. His Highness praised the depth of relations between Bahrain and the UK, affirming that they are witnessing positive developments in various fields, especially in the sports field. His Highness discussed with the ambassador the extent to which the sports of mixed martial arts reached a clear progress in Bahrain and Britain, and discussed means to support the development of the sport in both countries and the possibility of exchanging experiences as well as organizing events and programs to enhance the cooperation between them. His Highness directed for the Brave Championship to be held in London on July the 25th as a step to support and strengthen the relations between the two countries in the sports sector. His Highness noted that the organization of the championship in London will grant it more success given Britain's great interest in the sports being one of the first countries in the world to embrace and support mixed martial arts. For his part, the British ambassador praised the great efforts exerted by His Highness to support the Bahraini-British relations, especially in the field of sports. He welcomed the establishment of the Brave Championship in London, which will have a clear impact on the development of sports. He added that this championship has proved its worth at the level of mixed martial arts competitions, which has increased its popularity and followers worldwide and had a clear impact in supporting the strong Bahraini presence in the sports of mixed martial arts, stressing that Britain would seek to provide the ideal environment to ensure the success of this event in London. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Rashid Zayani, and in the presence of the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad, inaugurated the second edition of Micro Shabab Forum at Crown Plaza, Bahrain, today, organized by Future Society for Youth under the theme Applications and Electronic Stores, Opportunities and Challenges. Al Zayani affirmed the importance of the project of the small and medium sized enterprises and their abilities to cope with technology. He said the aim of this is to involve the youth, motivate them, achieve their aspirations, enhance their capabilities in the business field, establish companies run by the youth and make them an effective partner in the development process of the kingdom. He said this comes under the ministerial decision 40 of 2019 to involve the youth in the business field under the joint efforts of the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, the Ministry of Youth and Sports and the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments following the initiative of the representative of the His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The minister said that these initiatives like Sajili and the food trucks facilitate and support the youth and achieves the 2030 vision that aims to diversify sources of funds and support the local economy as well as develop non-oil exports. As Zayani highlighted, the market is witnessing the increase of electronic applications and urged to cope with the recent technologies and developments to overcome all challenges and build the infrastructure of the digital markets in order to motivate individuals to reach international markets. The chairman of the Youth Feature Future Society, Sabah Zayani, said that Micro Shabab Forum comes in line with the National Programme Initiative to develop the youth and sports sector Istijaba under the supervision of His Highness Sheikh Nasser. He added that this forum gathers a large number number of business people, decision makers, activists and investors. He said that the event attracted a number of speakers from in and outside of Bahrain and the registration process exceeded expectations. Micro Shabab Forum in its second edition focuses on opportunities and challenges of electronic applications and stalls under the patronage of Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism Zayed Rashid Al Zayani. In the presence of the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad, and the participation of public and private institutions and SME entrepreneurs. The young generation, they are leading to a tremendous job. Uh, and they need to have somebody to lead them to go and work and uh, put them in the right path so they can work and they can uh, create because they have so many uh, ideas but they need somebody just to lead them in the, to the right track. The importance of this forum is um, to open the door for uh, the new entrepreneurs 
uh, and to understand what is the obstacle in this field, especially in um, mobile apps and uh, social media businesses. Uh, we're trying here to invite all uh, the related parties from government sector and from private sector to introduce and to talk about their um, initiatives and their services and help these new uh, entrepreneurs to enter to this new sector and business. Micro Shabab aims to encourage young people to engage in the business world, motivates their energies, and inspires them for creativity and innovation as part of the National Assembly's responsibility to contribute to the realization of the vision of the Kingdom of Bahrain 2030. This forum is um, very strategic for us to sponsor, um, especially uh, with the title uh, that it carries uh, this year, uh, looking after apps and, and social media and e-commerce and so on and so forth. We in Timkin provide several platforms uh, to help youth um, and provide, uh, let's say, safe learning environment for them. The discussions of the second edition of the forum focus on exploring their prospects, opportunities and challenges of the electronic applications and stores, their impact on the various aspects of work and life, especially the issue of e-commerce, and the review of the main obstacles to its growth and spreading among young entrepreneurs, highlighting the latest emerging trends and deepening in the future of payments as the Middle East is considered one of the fastest growing e-commerce markets in the world, with sales expected to expand to $22.3 billion in 2020. I love connecting with youth. It's always, I love sharing information and knowledge. And because, basically because I was there a long time ago and I always wanted someone to help me out. I always wanted someone to share their experience with me. And that's, um, yeah, that saved a lot of time for me and alhamdulillah, uh, changed Ahmed. The forum also discusses the role of the government in supporting and encouraging applications in e-shops, e-payment solutions in the Kingdom of Bahrain, and how to use them for small projects, financing and incubating ideas and applications in this field, as well as the success stories of pilot projects by its pioneers, as well as many workshops offered by clubs and partner institutions. Micro Shabab Forum encourages Bahraini youth and entrepreneurs to engage in the e-business world, discussing today with high-level speakers, opportunities and challenges facing e-stores and electronic applications. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. The UNESCO World Heritage Committee has inscribed Bahrain's Dilmun Burial Mounds on the World Heritage List. The decision was made during the 43rd session of the UNESCO World Heritage Committee, currently held in the capital of Azerbaijan. Dilmun Burial Mounds is the third to be designated as World Heritage Site in Bahrain after ancient Qalat al Bahrain Harbour City and capital of Dilmun 2005 and the offshore pearling site in Muharraq in 2012. The Dilmun Burial Mounds consists of 21 archaeological sites located in the western part of Bahrain. Six of these sites are the burial ground fields of several tens of thousands of adjacent tombs. These fields together comprise about 11,000 burial mounds. It was built during the early Dilmun period, which lasted for about 30,000 years, between 1,750 and 2,050 BC.